Hi, how, how are you today? This is Steve on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to talk about switches, that is computer switches or these things. These things allow us to share information between computers as well as share internet connection. So if I have one internet connection, I can share it amongst all these computers. Hang tight and we'll talk about uh, switches coming up. Uh, the switch I'm going to show you today is a Linksys. Uh, Linksys is also made by Cisco. It's kind of like their consumer line. Um, and they're pretty good switches. I've used them for years. I like them. This one happens to be the E2SX16W. And they call it the 16 because it has 16 ports on the back. The way that a switch works is really simple. You would have an internet connection that comes from your cable or DSL provider that would come into any one of the ports. It doesn't matter which one. I usually like to put it on port number one because it's easy to remember. And then each of the other 15 ports would go out to a different computer. So basically one connection to the internet can be shared amongst 15 other computers. You can also piggyback these together so that you can have multiples. And the way that you do that is you could come out of, in this case, port 16 on this one. There's a little switch on the front here. I'm sorry, maybe it is on the back. Yeah, it's on the back. There's a little switch right here that you can push in with a pen and it'll change it um, so that you're able to hook more than one box together. Either that or you can make a crossover cable if you don't have one of these switches. The, so the link switch, it's called a link switch, and if you push it you can just use a regular cable rather than a crossover cable. If you don't know what a crossover cable is, I briefly describe what one is in this video up here uh, that discusses how to make network cables, so you can check that out. So the service comes into port 1 and then I can put a, another computer on port 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right up to uh, 15. If I have uh, two of these boxes, just as an example, let's say I wanted to put this box downstairs and then I wanted to have another one upstairs. What I could do is come into port 1 from my internet. I could have all these ports filled up for downstairs use and then I could have another wire that goes into port 16 press this button and then this will go upstairs I'll come in from 16 into this one and then I would have more connections to share upstairs so that's the idea of kind of like piggybacking these things together it's a very simple device it's an unmanned device which means there's no administration to it it just kind of does its own thing it has collision detection and that sort of thing. These lights are kind of give you a status and they look pretty and they blink in that. Um, as with most things I have, I like to crack them open. If you need to get inside yours, mine had a rattle noise inside it, so I wanted to find out why it was rattling, so I busted it open. And um, I'll show you how it opens up. It's very simple. You actually take the feet and you pull it away from the body. It's almost like a puzzle. This thing comes off. And this thing lifts off just like that. It's kind of interesting. There's not really much to it. And here is the power supply that plugs into the wall that comes with it. So it goes like that. And here is that switch that you would push in if you wanted to simulate a crossover for a link. So that's pretty much it about a switch. Like I said, it's unmanned. It's, it's kind of like a router. Routers also have multiple ports on the back, but they do more than um, just share connections. They also have uh, built-in uh, DHCP servers and that sort of thing. This is just a very simple device that allows us to connect more than one computer. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me on the Guru Brew. I'll see you again. Take care.
Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.